What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to increase your internet speed on PS4. So two things before we actually get into the tutorial. One, this is not going to triple your internet speed. These are just a few tweaks to give you a noticeable improvement in games. Nothing crazy that's going to dramatically change your connection speeds. And the second thing is, if you already have a really bad internet connection, like your router is bad, or the actual internet coming from your ISP is bad, then there's no changing that. You're gonna have to buy a new router or get better internet. That's about all I can say. However, if you are getting decent internet from your ISP and your router is functioning properly, then today's video should definitely help you out with increasing your speeds on PS4. So let's start by actually checking our internet connection. So I'm gonna head up here to settings, down to network, and then I'm going to test my connection. Okay, so I have a 29 megabit download and a 5.5 megabit upload, so definitely not bad at all, but it could be a lot better. So the main few settings we should change are back here in the network settings menu, right in our setup connection tab right here. So let's head in there, and this process will work exactly the same if you're connected via ethernet cable or if you were just using Wi-Fi. So I'm using Wi-Fi, so I'm going to select that method, and we are going to want to use the custom method of setting up our internet. All right, so now all of our networks are listed here. So mine is the one at the top, it is the strongest connection. And unfortunately, I'm using an older PS4. So I'm using the original PlayStation 4. If you are using a PS4 Slim or a PS4 Pro, you will have an option right next to the search option that is an options tab. So if you have that, open that up and it'll give you a Wi-Fi frequencies tab and then in that menu, you'll see either 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. And like I said, this is only for PS4 Pro and Slim. So if you have an original like I do, you cannot use this method. So once you're on that screen, select whichever Wi-Fi frequency is best for your location. So if you are near your Wi-Fi router, select the 5 gigahertz frequency band. If you are farther away from your router, then select the 2.4 gigahertz band. Essentially, the 5 gigahertz frequencies are shorter and are faster, but only in a smaller radius. Whereas the 2.4 frequency goes farther, but it is slower. So it really depends on where you are in your house. So just select whichever option is best for you and then back out of that menu. And I can't do anything because I'm using an older PS4. It can only receive the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. So I'm only seeing my lower speed network. Now I actually have two separate networks, one for the five gigahertz and one for the 2.4. So this is the 2.4 network. If I were using a PS4 Slim or Pro, that other network would also appear here. And if you are using two different networks, be sure to select the fastest one that appears on the screen. So I'm stuck with this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead with this option right here. So next is the password. So I'm gonna blur the whole screen right now so you can't see my password. All right, so my connection was successful. So here we have some IP addressing settings. It's best to leave it as automatic. If you do have uh, DSL, I believe, has some issues with PPPoE, then you can change those settings, but most of the time it's going to work best as automatic. DHCP server, we do not need to specify that. DNS, we are going to change to manual. And it gives us two options, a primary and a backup DNS. So for me, I have only the primary, but for you, it's probably best to have two. So. Right now, I have Google's DNS server as my primary DNS server, which is usually the fastest DNS server available, unless your ISP provided you with one. So 888.888 is the default for Google's DNS server. Just type that in with the dots, and that will most likely be the fastest connection for you. However, I will leave a link down below to different DNS servers that are in different regions of the world that you can use if you are not getting the best speeds with Google's. So I'm just gonna leave it as 8888. And then for the backup, I'm also gonna put a Google DNS server, except it's going to be their secondary, which is 88.4.4. So both of these are Google's DNS servers. Like I said, I'd encourage you to look up some DNS servers, find which one is best for you. It can vary on regions, so sometimes the ones that are closer to you are faster, but other times the biggest DNS server provider like Google is the best one. So I'm leaving these two options as mine, and I'm gonna go ahead to next. MTU settings, we're not gonna bother with that, just leave it as automatic. Proxy server, we're not gonna use that unless you wanna ban some websites. So the internet settings have been updated, they are successful, so let's test that connection to see if our connection speeds are any better. 
And as you can see, they did improve by about 6 megabits for the download. I can't remember what the upload was, but that really doesn't matter on PS4. The download is the main speed we want to worry about, and that did improve by a few megabits. So, for some people that may have doubled their internet speed, uh, but for me, it gave me a marginal improvement over what I had originally, which is great. So like I said before, those two big things, DNS and frequency. If I have been connected to my 5G frequency network, I would have probably had a 100 megabit connection because the 5G frequency is just better, it's faster, at least in the local area it can cover. However, I'm stuck with the just 2.4 gigahertz frequency, so I'm stuck with only 35 megabits per second, which is still a great speed. I can stream movies, I can play online just fine with this speed. So if you do have that 5G option, definitely go for that if you are close to your router. All right, and that about does it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, let me know in the comments. And really, any suggestions for future tutorials you want to see. If you have any problems on PS4, any console really on your PC, I can help you out with a future video. So that about does it. I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.